to my youtube channel if you haven't been here before then my name is chloe and if you have then thank you so much for coming back so apologies again for the background change i am currently sat on the floor in my bedroom apologies for the fan and the unmade bed <laughs> But yeah, I'm sat on the floor in my bedroom because it's the best light because I'm actually filming this pretty late. It is five to seven at night. So I'm kind of chasing the light around the apartment and this was the best place for me to sit and film this video. So I thought I would film for you today a little home bargains haul. Now when I say little, I mean little. I was quite disappointed in home bargains when I went today actually. The shelves were pretty bare. I don't know whether they were just waiting on a delivery of stock or what was going on but there really was not much in there at all. So I just did a quick little walk around, picked up a few bits and then I thought when I got home that I would do a video and show you what I picked up. Also at the end, I am just gonna chuck in a few little bits that I also picked up from Primark because I popped in Primark as well when I went to Home Bargains. But again, there's not enough stuff in there really to film a complete haul based on, you know, Primark things and there's not enough stuff here to film an uh, entire haul for Home Bargains things. So I thought I'd just combine the two. So I'll show you, first of all, everything that I picked up from Home Bargains. So to start off with, I picked up this giant tub of Vanish Oxy Action Crystal White. Now, I've got to be honest, I've never used anything like this before. So I'm not entirely clued up on exactly what it is or how you use it. But I believe you just sort of put it in your wash and it's meant to help keep your whites white. So the reason that I picked this up is because Sam has got quite a few items of white clothing. I mean, I have as well, but he's got quite a few nice white t-shirts, white shirts, etc. So I just thought I would pick up a tub of this and keep in my kitchen cupboard for whenever I'm doing a white wash. And I think you just add a scoop in where your powder usually goes. Oh yeah, that's the first thing that I picked up. I then picked up a big tub of personal capsules. So there's 38 in this tub. So this is one of the larger tubs. And yeah, not much to say about them really. I don't tend to have a specific favourite um, washing capsule. I just sort of pick up what's on offer at the time. I'm not going to say... I mean, they all do the same job, don't they? You really get through them quite quickly, don't you? Like, it's insane the amount of washing that I do for just two people. I don't know where it all comes from. Next, I just picked up some more Febreze. Just got the Febreze fabric refresher. It's actually the pet one. I don't know why I picked up the pet one. I haven't got any pets, but there we go. The next thing I picked up was just some toilet roll. Not much to say about this, really. It's toilet roll. <laughs> So next I actually picked up a new Harpic rim block, is that what they're called? A rim block? Um, I think that's what they're called but basically you know the things that hook over the rim of your toilet. Ours has run out now and it, uh, the empty one has just been on there for like the past week because I keep meaning to take it off and I just haven't taken it off. But anyway I picked up one of these, I got this in the tropical fragrance and it's limited edition and I just thought give it a whirl summer fragrance i suppose i do actually rate these they last a real long time to be honest freshness booster fruity i then picked up some of these duck fresh discs in jasmine jump and these are limited edition and it's a starter pack so you get one holder and one refill i haven't actually used these before but i've heard people talk about them and basically some people say that these aren't so good because the plastic things can fall off and go down the toilet and block it so i'm part of a group on facebook called mrs hinge cleaning tips or something like that because i'm a housewife now and a lot of people recommend these because they just stick on the inside of the toilet and there's no plastic so they can't fall off and cause damage to the loo i don't actually know how many you get in here i was a bit confused because it says one hold and one refill so i was thinking is that like one disc but i don't think it is i think you get like maybe a pack of discs 
I don't know. But yeah, I picked up those to try as well. I then just picked up some dishmatic refills because if you don't have a dishmatic, then what are you doing? They are the best things when you're doing your washing up. But our head that we've got on at the moment is literally hanging by a thread. There's nothing left of it. So I picked up some refill heads. I then just picked up a bag of sugar because to my horror this morning, I went to make a cup of tea, boiled the kettle, put the tea bag in, put the hot water in, went to put the sugar in and empty. Now, I am not pointing the finger at anybody, but it is very rare that I use the sugar. I might have the odd cup of tea on a weekend. I used to be a cup of tea fiend, but since I've been trying to watch my weight a bit more, I've kind of cut back on the cups of teas so it's not me who's used all the sugar but it would have just been nice for someone to just say we're out of sugar so i was absolutely gutted this morning when i couldn't have my cup of tea so i picked up a pack of sugar i then just picked up some shower gel because i'm also out of shower well i'm running out of shower gel i've got a tiny bit left and i was a bit disappointed actually because as i said earlier on in the video i don't know whether they were waiting for some more stock but the shower gel choices were minimal so I went with this Love Hearts one. I have had it before. I've got to be honest, I really, really like to buy strong smelling, sweet smelling shower gels. I just, yeah. And I've had this one before. I had it in a glossy box. And it does smell like Love Hearts. And this was pretty much all I had on the shelves. So I picked up a bottle of this. Next, I just picked up some high fever tablets because if you know, you know, it is getting into that time of year. I have to take one of these a day. Otherwise, I am just no good for nothing. These are really cheap. I think they're about 80 80p and they're the Bell's Healthcare Loratadine High Fever and Allergy Relief 10 milligram tablets and one of these a day just works for me. Obviously if your high fever is more severe it might not work for you but they work for me. I then picked up this um what are they called? It's got a hair clamp on here but is it a crocodile clip? Not sure but this was like 50 something p don't know if it's going to focus but it's like a speckled design i don't know whether this is going to be big enough to hold my hair up whenever i wear my hair up i don't put it in a bubble i just twist it and clip it at the back of my head because i don't like my ears on show so i keep my ears covered and I just clip it at the back of my head i've only got one of these clips at the moment which i use all the time but it's like a floral design and i find that sometimes it doesn't go with the clothes that i want to wear so i picked up this one which is nice and plain i don't know whether it's gonna hold all of my hair because my hair is quite long but i thought for like 55p it was worth trying and it might do actually because it does open quite wide so yeah please do that then just a couple of food bits now that's all i've got left that i picked up from home bargains so i picked up some discos if you don't know about sort of vinegar discos then get to know they are the type of crisps that literally rip the taste buds off your mouth but i love that i love a strong salt and vinegar flavor so i couldn't resist these when i saw them there's also cheese and onion and corn cocktail in there and then last but not least the other night Sam turned around to me and said have we got any sweets and I was like oh I've just realised my necklace so the other night Sam turned around to me and was like have we got any sweets and I was like no and I was got it because I actually fancied some sweets as well so in hand bargains I saw these and these are the refresher softies now my favourite sweets ever are the um, squashes I love the drumstick squashes and these are the same kind of concept we have had these before i've had these from aldi and basically they're just tangy chewy refresher flavored sweets so yeah that was everything that i picked up from home bargains as i said it wasn't a massive haul unfortunately there just didn't seem to be a lot in there today but if you enjoyed seeing this then maybe let me know in the comments down below and i can definitely film more for you maybe a b&m maybe the range all sorts of places like that obviously because i'm in the apartment now I've got an excuse to go and buy these things but now i am going to move on to the primark bits so yeah like i mentioned i didn't pick a lot up from primark either so there's not enough stuff here to do a dedicated haul i did think that it was worth just putting it at the end of this video so these are the things that i picked up from primark first of all i treated myself to some new slippers 
these are the crossover ones i don't know how well you're going to be able to see them but they're memory foam fluffy and they're like the crossover ones so they're open toe which i thought was a bit more suitable now that the weather's warming up and these were six pounds the label does say seven euros i don't know why does that ever confuse anybody else sometimes in my primark things are labeled up with euro price tags don't know why but anyway these were six pounds if i show you a bit closer I'm not sure how well it's going to pick up on camera because they're white but they're open toe here and just crossovers and they are so soft and so fluffy and memory foam as well i am so excited i think i'm going to put these on when i get at the shower tonight i was a bit about getting the white ones because i'm sure they will get filthy but i didn't like any of the other colors they had like a purpley gray color and i think that was it really they did have like a beige color but they didn't have it in my size so i just went with a white six pound i mean it's hardly breaking the bank is it so i then picked up another pack of scrunchies i don't know what it is about me but it seems every time i go to primark i always leave with another pack of scrunchies this is from primark 2 this one up here i mean it's only two pounds so there's three in this one and i got more muted colors like nudes and there's like a gingham in here i think that is because i do like to try and color coordinate my scrunchies with my outfits which is why i've got this satiny one in today with this brown jumper but then i saw these and i thought oh these would work better when i'm wearing nude outfits so if i just come a bit closer and you'll see so there's a cream a brownie nude and then like a gingham it's looking quite pink on camera but it's definitely not pink in real life it's like a nudie brownie color so these were two pound i then picked up this makeup bag now this is not for me this is for my nan bless her i went to visit my nan today and she has asked me if i've got any makeup that i don't use that she could have my nan is 81 she recently lost my granddad so my nan is on her own now and she just sort of said it in passing to me that she would love some makeup because she hasn't worn makeup in years and she just fancied a little play around with some makeup so she asked me to go through my makeup collection and if there's anything that i didn't want or i didn't use anymore if she could have it so what i thought i'd do when i went into primark is i thought i'd pick her up a nice new makeup bag and then i'd fill it with some of my products that i don't use anymore and then also some new bits for her and this was the nicest one that i saw in there i really think my nan will absolutely love this this was five pound it's like a pleated blue silky material there we go and it's got this little pearl on the zipper so i bought this for my nan and i'm gonna fill it up with makeup bits and i can't wait to give it to her and see her face bless her next i picked up one of these little tools now this is called a blackhead remover and you use it to unblock your pores and this was a pound now i've seen these on those videos that you come across on tiktok or instagram you know like dr pimple popper or when they're doing facials and doing extractions and they seem to work really well i don't know how the primark version is going to measure up but it was a pound so i thought why not i do suffer with quite a lot of congestion in my skin especially on my jawline on my chin and around my t-zone area so i thought i would pick this up and give it a go i don't know how well it's going to work if i can show you i don't know if it's going to focus there we go but it's got two different ends to it and from what i can see online you just literally press it up against your face push it and it kind of pushes the pore road don't know how good they are don't know if it's going to make my skin worse and not better but it was parent and i thought i'd try it if you've had any experience using one of these please let me know down below and please warn me off if i shouldn't use it so last but not least i just picked up some perfume from primark now i actually can't rate the primark perfume enough if you're someone like me who likes to wear perfume every day but is very liberal with it and when i mean liberal i'm like and then I spray it all in my hair to try and make the smell last. I'm like, 
you know what I mean? I can't be doing that with my expensive perfume. I am not going to be doing that with my Tom Ford perfume. I'm just not. So in the week and, you know, if I'm just popping out and about, I like to use just a cheap and cheerful perfume. And I find that Primark's perfumes are exactly that. So this one was £6 and it's called Pink Blossom. And I did spray this one in Primark. They had a test out and this was definitely the best smelling one. It's very floral, very light and yeah. So on the back it says, a truly addictive fragrance with a burst of peach and orange flower on a bed of warm milk with a hint of feminine musk. And yeah, it smelled really nice and for £6, that's perfect for me to just and go out. So I really hope you enjoyed this little haul. I hope you enjoyed the home bargain section and then the Primark bits that I picked up. If you want to see more of either type of video, so a Primark haul or a home bargains haul, then please let me know down in the comments that you enjoyed it and I can definitely film more of those for you. So if you made it this far, then thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what more you want to see on my channel. Please leave me a comment. I will reply. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I really hope that I will see you in my next video. Bye!